This is an Ototus obliquus, an extinct lamnid shark. It's Eocene, really old. It's the first shark in the line that produced Megalodon. It comes from Rocco. I didn't find this tooth, obviously. I bought this back in the late 90s. I just thought they were so cool, I had to have one. But it's the first shark tooth I ever bought. And so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be about buying shark teeth. A great way to add stuff to your collection without having to get dirty and eaten up by bugs. This is a pygmy white shark, Paleocaracaridon orientalis. I buy things from my collection that I can't find. Probably never going to Morocco, so I've bought more Moroccan teeth than anything else. A lot of weird stuff comes out of Morocco, and they're usually pretty nice. Wait. I've seen you post this before. It's a crow shark. Yes, I have found these before in the U.S. This is a crow shark, Squalocorax pristodonis. They had them in Morocco too, in the Cretaceous. They're massive. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. This looks familiar, huh? This is an auriculitis. Got these in the U.S. too, and I've found them before. But I didn't have a Moroccan one. I like that one. That looks a lot like a modern tiger shark, you might say. And it does. This is a tiger shark. It comes from the Eocene. It's called Galeocerto eglosomi. Look at those fine serrations. That's the difference on that edge right there and on that edge right there. When you see a modern tiger shark, they have much more coarse, irregular serrations. Than these eclosomai do. This should look familiar to you. This is a megalodon tooth, but it's from Morocco. I didn't even know Morocco had megalodon teeth till after I'd been collecting for about 20 years. A buddy of mine had some, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get one. So I got the nicest one I could find. Biggest cow shark ever. Mega Moo. It's the Nodidanodon Luzi. One of my favorite Moroccan species. Here's another noted anodon. It's nice, but I'm showing it to you to raise the issue of repair and restoration. Repair is when there's a tooth that's been broken and glued back together. Restoration is when there's a part that was missing and it's been replaced with something else, like putty or paint or whatever. This one has some repair or restoration to it right here on the center of the root. See how it's smooth? And the rest of the tooth has pores and lines in it. That's how I can tell. There was probably some pitting there and they filled it in with, with glue and sand. That's a very common technique when you're buying teeth. And uh, when you're buying them, you should always ask if the tooth has any repair or restoration. And a good dealer will have no problem telling you. All right, last noted anodon. This one's got repair and restoration on it. See, it's got that glue mark in the middle and then the obviously fake root. So I knew this was repaired and restored when I got it. But it was dirt cheap and I picked it up for a good example because I knew I'd want to do this video someday. Peritotus premii, Eocene tooth. Another Peritotus premii. That name Peritotus probably sounds familiar to you. More familiar Peritotus benedini, the huge uh, Pliocene species. Notice how small these are in comparison to those things, which can get up to three inches long. Another species I found before in the US, Serratolamna ashersoni. Look at those cusps on that thing. Just wicked. Cretolamna maracana. Really cool tooth forms on these. Looks like an Ototus, but it's not. Some really cool tooth forms come out of Moroccan species. This is one of the first cow sharks called Waltonia and Christodon. Look at that massive primary cone right there. They're almost always broken off. Let's see the back of it. Yeah, very cool tooth. This is another Ototus, 
obviously pathologic. Patho collectors rejoice in Moroccan species because they just have so many of them that you find a lot more pathologic teeth over there. That's another crow shark, Squalocorax bassini. Way different shape than the Christodonis. This is a rare tooth. That's why it's broken. I couldn't find a whole one to buy. Scapanorhynchus rapox. Look at the size of the sand shark. It's just huge. Cool looking cusps on that thing. Great color. Another species I've found here in South Carolina. This is a Carcarius coerti. It's a Eocene sand shark. It's huge. Huge. Probably 50% longer than either ones I've found here. Great color too. These are Mako's Eocene. Israel's precursor. Same species we have here in Harleyville quarries. And this is an angel shark, Squatina prima. And this holder that it's in is actually for coins. Really good for holding little teeth. And this is a nurse shark tooth. It's a nebrius. That's the genus. I'm not quite sure of the species. Very cool. We don't really find these in the low country of South Carolina. One of the coolest cow shark teeth is the Hexanchus microdon. Tiny little guys. Another species we find in the quarries here in South Carolina. Here's another Ototus. This one's in Matrix. Really cool little chunk of Africa right here. Beautiful tooth. You can find some nice ones of these available. I realized that part of the appeal of this channel is watching me dig out some stuff. So I thought maybe I would show you some of the micro matrix that I have from Morocco. This is the reduced material, the shark tooth formation. Look at all those teeth in there. I mean, we see a lot of nice big teeth. We don't see a lot of the little teeth and this is what the, the matrix looks like from there. This is a different bit matrix. These little tiny, tiny fossils in there that I'll look for someday. Hoping my eyes hold out. And there's a close up of yet another layer out there that I have micro from. You can just see all the little teeth in there. It's not just shark teeth. This is an encodus tooth. Giant predatory fish. This acorn looking thing, actually a tooth from a mosasaur called Globidens. Really cool tooth form. Morocco also has dinosaurs. This is a marine dinosaur called a plesiosaur. This is the tooth from a Spinosaurus. It's a fishing dinosaur. Notice how the tooth is long and skinny and spike-like, much like sharks that eat fish. Like sand sharks, they have the long pointy teeth too. And this is a tooth that Diva got me. It's from the African T-Rex, the Carcharodonosaurus. It's a really nice one. Check out the serrations. Dinosaur serrations are always up on the tooth rather than standing out like the shark tooth serrations are like a saw. See how they're kind of, you can see the ridges of the serrations on the tooth. Very cool. And this is a whale it's called Papacetus lugardi. Just excellent details on the crown of that thing. Also, you could see where it was cracked when they extracted it, but put it back together. That's repair, and I knew about it. As long as you know about it, there's nothing wrong with that stuff. And like I said, a good dealer is always gonna tell you when something's been restored or repaired. Papacetus canine. Look at the size of the crown on this thing. Just monstrous. What a cool tooth. 
that last tooth was a canine. This is a Papacetus molar. Big double rooted honker. This is a Bacillosaurus tooth. Very primitive whale, had hind legs even still. And even with a savage looking tooth like this, they weren't ripping off big chunks of meat like you would think. They would close their mouth together and kind of sieve out their stuff from the seawater. So these guys were the ancestors of modern baleen whales, if I understand it correctly. Anyway, we do find these in South Carolina too, but I never got a good molar like this. So of course I had to pick one up when it came available. Really, really awesome fossil. These Bacillosaurus teeth are still in the bone. A lot of times when you see stuff from over there, it just looks fake, like it's put in the bone. But this one was actually cut out. Like you can still see the marrow in there. And there's a view of the other side. Just amazing fossils. Well, that brings us to the end. Here's a bunch of other nice ones, all individually protected in little baggies so they're not damaged in between storage and when I finally get around to putting them in a case. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different than what we normally do, but I appreciate you watching. And hopefully you got some ideas on some different ways that you can expand your collection and what you need to look for when you're looking for shark's teeth to buy. And... Uh, Thanks again for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done that, please do so and I will catch you next time. Happy hunting.